Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use menu bar in JavaFX. So let's get started. I have created this sample project and I have named it as menu bar. And inside this application package, I have this main.java where I have changed this default line of code which adds a main.fxml file. And I have also created this main.fxml file which is right now empty. And I have created this main controller.java class which is also empty right now. Okay. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to open our main.fxml file in scene builder. Now once your fxml file is open in scene builder, you can just select your anchor pane and delete it. And this time we are going to use border pane. So go to a containers here and then search for border pane and drag and drop here. Now the border pane has uh, some sections you can see it has top left center right and bottom right now in order to add a menu bar in this border pane what you can do is you can go to controls there is a section called menu also but you will not find menu bar here but you will find menu bar in the controls right so search for menu bar in the controls and then drag and drop on the top section of your uh, border pane okay so it will stick to the top and let's preview this how it looks like you can see by default it has uh, three menu items and then you have this close sub item also right and now to add some more menu item first of all let's see uh, inside this menu bar so you can just go here select your menu bar and expand it and you can see three uh, menus are here one is file which is this one other is edit which is this one and third one is help which is this one now when you expand more you can see menu items Okay, so first menu has uh, one menu item which is close. Second menu has one menu item which is delete. And third menu also has one menu item which is about. Okay, now in order to add more menu items inside your uh, menu, what you can do is you can go to menus category here and take a menu item and then drag and drop inside your menu so for example i want to uh, have uh, this menu item inside the file menu i can drag and drop and wherever you want to insert it just leave it there okay and here you can see uh, there is a box here here you can uh, give the name to your menu item right so for example uh, i want to for example i want to make some uh, menu something like this so i will uh, add this open uh, you know name here okay as a menu item so I will just write open okay and I am going to add one more menu item inside the file and I will drag and drop here and let's see uh, what can we do save for example okay so save okay and press enter and let's preview as it once again and now we have three menu items inside the file menu okay now you can also have uh, menus inside the menu so for example i click this file here you can see uh, this new from template and this is one more menu inside a menu because it has its own menu items like this right so what we can do here is we can just take a menu from the menu category and drag and drop inside the file menu for example here and now this menu has its own menu items right so you can uh, rename this menu like this for example let's say what we can do for example it's our import menu so i will just name it as 
import right and then it also has its uh, own menu items you can see by default it has one menu item and for example import has fxml and media so we can add uh, as a menu item fxml and let's add one more menu item in the import menu and it will be our second item which was media okay and then save your code and preview it once again and now you can see you have this menu and under the menu you have more sub menus okay now our menu also has this separator line to separate the menu you see there is a little line separating the, the different menu okay so let's add this separator menu line so just go to the menu and just pick this separator menu item and drag and drop to the menu item in which you want to provide the separator for example i want to provide the separator between close and open i will just drag and drop this between close and open and then i can preview it now and when i see it you can see this uh, separator line between close and open okay so this is called a separator now for example i want to give some action to the you know these items right so i will once again preview and for example i have this close uh, menu item and i want to uh, give this uh, uh, action to this uh, menu item that whenever this close is selected then i want to close the application for example okay so in here i will go and select my menu item which is close and i will go to the code here and in here i can give an action okay so i will just say it will call a close app function okay and then just uh, save everything and then go to your app and refresh your project once again and here also save everything and go to the controller now here and first of all we will implement the initializable class so just implement initializable and then add this unimplemented methods and then in here what we are going to do is we are going to create this function which is uh, public void and the button action right so just write public void and take the same name as you have provided here for the close on action event right and then give the argument action event and then name the argument name and then inside your method what you can do is you can call these two lines of code one is platform dot exit and second is system dot exit and which takes an argument zero now just add this import which is javafx application platform and then error will go and this code what it does is it exits from your platform which is javafx and this helps you to close your app okay now one last step which is remaining is we want to uh, you know connect the controller class to this fxml file so just open this fxml file go to the controller category here and choose application dot main controller okay and now save everything once again and refresh your project once again and here also save everything and run your project and now you can see our project is running and it has this menu items and when i click close my app is closed right so once again i run my application and when i click close my app is closed which is due to these two lines of code so in a similar way you can add uh, action events to other menu items also okay so in this way you can use menu bars menu and menu items 
in JavaFX. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.